In this lesson, we will use logarithms to solve exponential equations. Let us recall that in solving exponential equations, we use this property. If two numbers have the same base and they are raised to exponents, then that means that their exponents must be the same. But the question is, what if we do not have the same base? For example, we have e raised to 2x is equal to 5. Definitely, they do not have the same base because the base here is e and the base here is 5. Our strategy for such a case is to take the logarithm of both sides of the equation and use these two properties. So for example, in this case, we have e to the 2x equals 5. Our base here is e. So therefore, we take the logarithm base e or ln of both sides. By this property, ln of e to the 2x, remember this is log base e, this gets cancelled and your variable will now go down. You have 2x equals ln of 5. Let us recall that whenever you have exponential equations, your goal is to bring down your variable. So therefore here, x is equal to ln of 5 all over Next, we have 3 raised to x plus 1 equals negative 2. Now, take note here that I will no longer proceed in solving this equation because I know that this cannot happen. If you have something of the form b raised to the m, the answer here should always be greater than 0. But you're saying here that 3 raised to x plus 1 is equal to a negative number. That's why this equation has no solution. Now let us just suppose that you did not see that. So you took the logarithm of both sides. So even if you did not see this property, when you get logarithm of negative 2, this one does not exist. The logarithm of a negative number does not exist. And hence, you will still get no solution. Another example, we have 5 raised to 2x minus 3 is equal to 3 raised to x plus 5. So since we have different bases here, you can either take logarithm to the base 5 or logarithm to the base 3. However, when we have different bases, what we do is we just always take the common logarithm. That is logarithm base 10. So we have log of 5 raised to 2x minus 3 equals log of 3 raised to x plus 5. If this is the case, the exponent will now go down because of the properties of logarithms. And that is our goal, to bring down the exponent because our variable appears in the exponent. So we have 2x minus 3 times logarithm of 5 is equal to x plus 5 times logarithm of 3. We are solving for x. Remember that logarithm of 5 and logarithm of 3 are just constants. For example, I gave you 2x minus 3 times 4 is equal to x plus 5 times 3. What do you do? You distribute 4. So you get 8x minus 12 equals 3x plus 15. And then you collect all the terms involving x and all the constants on the other side. So you get 5x equals 27. So x is equal to 27 over 5. So basically, we will just use this same method here. This is no different from this because logarithm of 5 and logarithm of 3 are just constants. I will multiply 2x to log 5 minus 3. Log of 5 is equal to x log 3 
plus 5 log of 3. And then we collect all the terms involving x. So that's 2x log of 5 minus x log of 3 and collect all the terms with no x. So that would be 5 log of 3 plus 3 log of 5. And the reason why we are collecting all the x's on one side is because we want to factor out the x. So we have 2 log of 5 minus log of 3. These are just constants, so therefore we divide both sides by this expression. And therefore, this is the value for x. Next, you have 2 times 5 raised to 3x minus 5 is equal to 3 raised to x minus 4. Again, I have different bases, so I will just take the logarithm of both sides. Now, question, can I bring down the exponent here? 3x minus 5? No. Take note, this is not the same as 3x minus 5 times logarithm of 2 times 5. Because 3x minus 5 is not the exponent of 2 times 5. So therefore, how do we bring down the exponents here? We have to split this up first. This is logarithm of a product. So by loss of logarithms, this is log of 2 plus log of 5 raised to 3x minus 5. Therefore, we can now bring down our exponents. This is one whole expression. You cannot split this. This is not log times 3. This is read as log of 3. Again, we distribute the logarithm of 5 and the logarithm of 3 here. Collecting all the terms involving x, we get the following. We can now factor out the x. And therefore, we divide both sides by this expression, 3 log 5 minus log 3. This gives us the value of x. Next, we have 4 e to the 2x plus 5 equals 12. First, we have to write this in this form, something like that. So, we isolate the term involving e to the 2x. We get 4 e to the 2x equals 7. I will first divide both sides by 4 so that I will just have e to the 2x. Since this is e, I will take which logarithm? We will take ln of both sides. Because... Ln of e to the 2x is just 2x. This gets cancelled. Recall that ln of e raised to star is equal to star. Dividing both sides by 2, we get that x is ln of 7 over 4 all over 2. Or, you can also write this as ln of 7 minus ln of 4. That's ln of 7 over 4 all over 2. Next, we have e to the 2x minus e to the x equals 56. This is an example wherein you have two terms involving x. However, this is e to the 2x and this is e to the x. What can you observe? The exponent here 
is just double of the exponent here. This tells us that this is an equation in quadratic form. And how do we solve equations in quadratic form? We have to make use of change of variables. We let u to be equal to which term? e to the x or e to the 2x? That should be e to the x so that your u squared will be e to the 2x. This equation will now become u squared minus u equals 56. Setting one side to zero. We get u squared minus u minus 56. And this factorizes as u minus 8 times u plus 7. And therefore, we get that u equals 8 or u is equal to negative 7. But remember that we do not want to solve for u. We are solving for x. So therefore, do not forget to switch to e to the x. e to the x equals 8 or e to the x equals negative 7. Again, this one here is impossible. Why is this impossible? Because the range of the exponential function is always positive. That is, any number raised to an exponent should always be positive. So we will just solve e to the x equals 8. And how do you solve this? You get ln of both sides. Since we have e here, we get x is equal to ln of 8. For our last example, we have 25 raised to the x minus 6 times 5 to the x plus 5. Notice here that you have different bases, 25 raised to x and 5 raised to x. However, we can write 25 as 5 squared and then raised to x, so that's 5 to the 2x minus 6 times 5 to the x plus 5 equals 0. This equation is very similar to our example 6. Why is that? You have 5 to the x and you have 5 raised to 2 to the x. That means that this equation is an equation in quadratic form. So we let u to be equal to what? The term with a smaller exponent. That is 5 raised to the x. So that your u squared will be equal to 5 to the 2x. Our original equation becomes u squared minus 6 times u plus 5 is equal to 0. This factorizes as u minus 5, u minus 1, which gives us that u equals 5 or u is equal to 1. Again, don't forget to switch to your x. u is 5 to the x or u is 5 to the x equals 1. In this case, you have x equals 1 and in this case, x is equal to 0.